So a few things that you can uh, find if you get on your Netflix yes. include uh, these Netflix originals. They are really stepping the game up with yes, the, they are not Got just a lot of money, not them. just TV but films as well. So we'll start with Thirteenth. This is a documentary from Eva DuVernay, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, Eva DuVernay, who is, I mean, she did Selma mm-hmm. a couple of years ago, which was really, really good. Very good. And uh, she's also doing a Wrinkle in Time for yeah. Disney soon, so that'll be amazing. She was linked to a Marvel film. Was it Black Panther? It was Black Panther, but I think she was she creative differences of things. I mean, it was a, it was a, it was an amiable split, but you know, it, things it, don't work out. I think you mean amicable, but yeah, yeah it, it amicable, was, it was yeah. during the time when Marvel looked like a sinking ship. Yeah. And now it's like, nah. Oh well. We're cool. Yeah. Thanks, it's DC. Like, we've, we've got Ryan Coogler. It's, yeah. It's all You've made it good again, thanks DC. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, uh, not to divert from Marvel into slavery. Yeah, uh, just a, 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 a quite a poor link for this, but <laughs> but but you but you can save it. Go on. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the thirteenth of the title refers to the thirteenth amendment of the Constitution, which uh, reads that neither slavery nor involuntary servitude shall be shall exist except as a punishment for crime. Hmm. And this is where the entire documentary hangs its hat because Eva DuVernay essentially explores the history of racial inequality in the United States and how the fact that in the prison population of the US there is a massive amount of African Americans locked up compared to compared to white Americans, even though that the African American population is significantly smaller than uh, than the white population. Yeah, than the white population. I think the damning statistic the film starts out with as well is the fact that even though the US is a comparatively small country, it has a massive amount of the prison inmates around the world. Mm-hmm. And the, the, the film has... It, it's It's got a, just a sheer amount of damning information, yeah. really, this whole thing. I mean, it, it starts off sort of talking about uh, segregation and things like uh, D.W. Griffith's uh, Birth of a Nation... Yeah, and, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. That was the first footage I'd seen of the film. And Joe, have you seen it, Joe? Yeah. Oh, you finally can, seen it. Can, well, yeah. Can you explain Birth of a Nation, please? But um, not not in a horrible yeah. way. Yeah. Um. Uh, well, pretty much it's the the very first ever big blockbuster. Really, it was the film of films. It, it even caused controversy in its day. Uh. But yeah, it's just about two families during the Civil War, and it's very very racist. And yeah. the creation of the KKK. But is the, is is the, is the film racist or is it about racism? No, the film is genuinely the film like is racist. hardcore racist. Okay. But it's techniques and everything, and just it's cinema really. I mean, yeah. we won't have what we're having nowadays without the film. <laughs> <laughs> See, so we've got D.W. Griffiths to thank for Passengers. There's oh, another great. one. There you go. Have another Wonderful. one. <laughs> Sorry, terrific. Go on. Yeah, and but um, it just it's just it shocks me the whole way through. I think I mean, it it just shows how much how how in, uh, entrenched the problems are in America in in the penal system. I think it it opened my eyes to a lot of things I didn't know existed about like uh, the exploitation of of criminals for for labour. Yeah, I didn't really know well, the that, extent that, of that. Yeah, that's like, that, that's how this all comes about, isn't it? Yeah. The fact that they would you know target black Americans. Uh, yeah, you know, to to sort of make smaller uh, crimes bigger deal yeah I mean, I mean the, fil- the film goes back to the 80s and well, the, the 70s and the 80s and just shows you how the population of, of prisoners has systematically increased and it's, it takes its time to unfold how systematic the racism has been mm-hmm. like uh, uh, the fact that and, and that's what probably shocked me the most the fact that it has become it's still there but it's just so shielded and shrouded now by by stuff like crime and 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 other buzzwords and sort of the war against drugs that have it's just it shrouded itself in in buzzwords to but it's still racism yeah, oh and, yeah. And, and that is the one word that Eva DuVernay makes I mean th- there is a lot of there is a lot of typography in this film but that mm-hmm. one word keeps coming up during the whole world criminal yeah. during the entire film it just keeps coming up criminal 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 and she makes the cuts in that way that it, it hits hard and makes you think you know some of this is ridiculous and as the film continues to pick up pace and it gets to to more modern events such as the Trayvon Martin George Zimmerman case it, it just it, it it's more and more damning stuff about the, it just it, 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 it really leaves you just wondering where there is to go really I but it's also quite an optimistic but well, no, it's perhaps like, a little bit like let's bear in mind that this film was made before Donald Trump was uh, yeah. a, 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 elected there is still footage of, there is of footage of Trump, Trump. yeah but this is what I'm saying like that there's footage used there to show you know what what things could be like of him yeah. throwing protests at that scene you know go and beat him you know back in the day they would beat him with an inch of his well life. there's footage of Trump from uh, decades ago as well when he wrote an open letter saying, saying about, about the, um, the death penalty hanging, yeah. yeah and then you see footage from like sort of his campaign and since this has been released he is now obviously president but he's going to be in January yeah president elect it doesn't bode well I think that that's one of the most horrifying things about this is that you know it's still it's very it's still very much a thing and will things get better with him as president I mean I don't know. It it really is gut wrenching stuff, 
I think it's a, uh, with with this kind of thing. There's always a risk of it being preachy, but I don't think it ever yeah. is. I think it's even handed. They even have somebody to. Well, I mean, they get somebody in who can offer some kind of response. Everything he says is kind of juxtaposed with "No, you're wrong," because yeah. uh, <laughs> he is. But uh, no, I think it's it's well put together. I like the the, the, the construction of it. it. It never felt like a, a history lesson. Like you've been well, created a very a, a very um, fast flowing documentary arts here. Like yeah, a very you know a very piercy. I think it, 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 punchy. The, the use of music's very good as well. Going, yeah, yeah. Through, going through the decades of the protest music from mm-hmm. each year, uh, from each decade. Yeah. It's an interesting film. I, I I implore people to see it. It makes a good companion piece to Selma as well. Both yeah. very striking, very powerful uh, pieces mm-hmm. about you know yeah. uh, African American history. Yeah. And how and how bad it has been, how bad it, it still is, yeah. and I can't get my head around it. Uh-huh. But it's an interesting it's, watch. It's, it's, it, it just shows how I mean it, it opened my eyes to to the massive problems. America has. Yeah. And I think I think a lot of Americans might be better off seeing this. I, know, think, just... I, I think some people are, are uh, pathological, can't change. Yeah. But I, th- I think it's it's definitely something to consider. It's that it's that it's that combo between the the footage of of the Trump rally and the the early news footage of of people pushing pushing yeah. black people away. Yeah. It's like it's it's that's it. It's happening again. It's it's, damn, it's, it's it? full circle. Like yeah. it, it's bad. It's very bad. Must watch out. Uh, but the film is very good.